Well, hello, beautiful Sagittarius. I hope you're doing well. It is CJ here. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. I love you, I appreciate you, and I am very thankful for you as well. Sag, I hope everything's going well. This is gonna be your daily read for Thursday, uh, January 26th, 2023. Time being fluid, so whenever you're called to this reading, there may be a message in it for you. And as well, um, you know, it is general. So only take what resonates with you. Don't ever try to force it. Um, you know, if it's not your reading, it's just not your reading. And that's absolutely cool. All right, Saji, let's get into this reading and see what is waiting for you on Thursday. I'm going to open up with my beautiful Divine Wisdom Oracle. And um, then we'll get into the tarot. All right, Spirit, please show me clearly for beautiful Sagittarius, for those that this reading is meant for. Please guide us and show me what you have. Let's begin. Ooh, we got the honeybee um, on the bottom. I like this. I was just having a conversation with my daughter um, the other night about bees. So wild. Okay. Um, she's got a Sagittarius placement too. Important to show it to you. I mean, it's, show, it's showing up in this reading. I always meditate and cleanse and shuffle and do all the decks, prep the decks before. So I didn't know this was here. I like it because a honeybee bee is saying that this is about equal give and take. This is about reciprocity. But even going further, it's number six, so beautiful number of that balance. But even going into the bee a little bit more deeper, um, I'm feeling sad that this is in reference to you know, as I said, we were just talking about bees <laughs> the other night and how important they are, right? And also just even how they function. You know, you got the queen bee and then you have all the workers and then you've got the, you know, the warrior bees and they all have to work together to create something. Um, to create honey for us, obviously, they pollinate the, the flowers. Just a beautiful energy here. Um, just want to see if spirit wants to give me anything else on that. I don't know, I'm feeling like some kind of abundance coming through here with this card. So we'll see what comes out. Let's get into your reading, Sag. Uh, and if you do, I always forget to mention this, um, if you would like to get a private reading from myself, dive a little bit deeper on something, all that information is down below. I always forget to tell you, so anyways. Okay, Sag, let's see what's going on for Thursday. Show me clearly, please, beautiful spirit, for Sagittarius. Thursday, the 26th of January. What message do you have? Oh, wow, okay. Wow, we've got, this is very interesting. All right, we've got the Peregrine Falcon, observation. Very important energy of making sure that you are observing things that are going on around you. We'll see when we get into the tarot what this is really about. It is number 25, which is a seven. This is like, I'm getting this energy that you need to be mindful. That's what I'm picking up right now. Um, mindful energy of focus around people, situations on Thursday. They want you to be very observant. Um, they're also giving this other energy too that other people might be watching you, Sag. So um, this could be about your career. I don't know what you do. You may be, maybe you do YouTube um, channels or something. I'm getting two different side messages. One is about you observing others. The other is that you're being observed. So we'll see how that breaks down, but it is a beautiful card. Um, gold color, there's that abundance that I'm feeling here. And on the bottom of the deck, we have bison. It is number 35, which is an eight, uh, and that is all about ritual. Something that you have been, either you've been doing, there's something that you do often in a certain, there's a certain pattern that you do things. Um, wow, this is, I don't know what this, what they're trying to give me here, but I feel like it's about whatever keeps you grounded, whatever keeps you feeling very centered in yourself, Sag, is what they're wanting you to continue to do. We next, and they want me to talk about this because we've got the bowl next. Um, this is about sacrifice. Sagittarius, you are a sign that makes great sac sacrifices. Um, you have a very big giving heart. Uh, you are very loyal. And you have had to make a lot of sacrifices. I'm not sure in what way, probably family, could be career as well. But there's something important. So I want to take those as well, that one as well, and see what Spirit is trying to tell us here. Um, because we've got observation, then we have this thing that they want you to continue to do that keeps you centered, that keeps you grounded. Something that is not you do over and over um, in a typical fashion is what I feel. Uh, but then they're talking about the sacrifice that you've had to make. You've had to make a lot of sacrifices. The bull, this energy, first of all, bulls are incredible. Uh, they're pretty tough animals. And they are also very determined, right? Um, 
you don't want to mess with a bull. But even in this card, there is a lot of lightning, a lot of electricity. There's this is there's something spirit is coming through here that you might have just felt like you've gone through a storm in some area in your life. Um, and they're really wanting you to remember to ground yourself. Oh, this is wild. Because even the bison and the bull, I mean, they both, they're both big animals. They're both very, very strong, very tough. Um, you might not be able to see it in this one. It's right here, the, the buffalo, um, the bison. And there's something about the horns that are coming through here. So I don't know what that is, but we'll see. It's number 40, so that's a four. Foundation, I'm getting. All right, let's get into the tarot. I want to see what this is about. Please show me clearly, Spirit. What is this about for Sagittarius? I'm just getting this energy of you needing your... Okay, I'm just going to be quiet. All right, show me clearly, please. Spirit for Sagittarius. For Thursday. What's going on for Sagittarius? Ooh. Okay, well, we've got a lot. Oh, we've got a lot, a lot. Okay, well, we'll take them. Three of Wands is on the bottom, followed after that is a Five of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Okay, we've got the Queen of Swords, Six of Cups, the Two of Wands, interesting, because we have the Two and then we have the Three, Queen of Wands and the High Priestess. Okay, so you got two queens showing up. All right, Sag, give me one second just to focus my on myself on the energy here. Sag, there's this feeling of, yeah, the observation. Uh, there's There may be someone around you that spirit is guiding you to really watch. Um, right now, I'm not getting a feeling whether this is romantic or otherwise. But because we have the Queen of Swords, she's looking over at the Six of Cups, by the way, and I'll show you that in a moment. Queen of Swords, so we're talking the signs we're talking is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. She is a sharpshooter in the way that she can detect BS from miles away. Um, she is not very emotional. She's much more logical. She trusts her analytical ability. And she is casting, even in this picture, she's casting her eyes out in front. She's studying something. She's observing something. And, <clears throat> excuse me, because she is coming out looking at the Six of Cups, um, I feel like this is some kind of relationship of some sort here that you are being guided to really observe. Someone in your life that you have probably known for a while. Might not be years and years, but there's some energy I'm getting here that is about um, you really observing, hence why they gave you the falcon. Um, you're observing the behavior of someone else and they're wanting you to really take a very deep, serious look at this. Uh, because I'm getting this energy that you've had to make a lot of sacrifices for this person. Again, uh, um, it may not be family or love. It could be a friend. It could be a coworker. It could just, it could be someone that you have been pulling their weight is what I'm feeling. Pulling their weight in some fashion. With bison in the middle, that is what is they're telling me is that there's this. All right, Sag, let's get into this. Sagittarius, you are a very loving energy. You're very adventurous. You have a lot of talents. You're very loving and kind and you give. Sometimes to the point where others will take, take, take. I feel like this is referring to that with the bison in the middle. I'm referring, it's feeling like, because it is number 35, which reduces down to eight. Eight for me is about our life path. It's kind of like our own journey that we're on. I feel like there's something here that they're asking you to look deeper into it because I feel there's this repeat that has been happening and it's like you have to figure out a way to break the cycle, break the chain, break whatever this is to release yourself from it because sacrifice is showing up to say that you've gone through a lot and you've given up a lot and I'm getting this energy that you are the one that is always like you're always stepping in to, to help others and others just kind of have been taking you for advantage, um, taking, a, taking you for advantage, taking you for granted, taking advantage of you. We got the two of wands in the center followed by the queen of wands and the high priestess. So there's something here that you already know about. You probably already have, do self-talk with yourself about this. So because what I'm getting is like, this is not the first time you have been in a situation where with someone 
that has they come off one way almost like they come off loyal they come off like they're you know they're they really hey I'm gonna help you Sag I'm gonna work with you on this and yet they end up letting you down maybe letting a team down letting people down letting family down however this may apply and you have had to make a lot of sacrifice and it's caused some kind of turmoil in some area of your life um, two of wands I feel like you're trying to figure out how to how to move forward um, so that you can be free from this energy. I don't know if that means like you cut them out of your life. I'm not I'm not advising that. Um, <clears throat> but there's something here where you've been deeply disappointed, as we know, because we've got the five of cups underneath. You have been disappointed, and I feel like it's time and time and time again, specifically with either one person or specifically a person, um, a situation that always brings this certain type of person into your your energetic field. I hope this is making sense because this feels like a quite a serious read to me. <clears throat> we have the three of wands so for me if you're new to my channel the bottom of the deck is the foundation of your reading Sag. So the bottom of the deck is the three of wands which is your energy that beautiful fiery gorgeous energy but it is the energy of you making a move to go a different direction is what I'm feeling here. Um, you're making a choice to move to f almost even free yourself in some way here because the two of wands is right now in the center of the spread. And this is that energy of contemplation. It's not really taking the action yet. It's contemplating which way you want to go. You know, are you going to keep doing this for this person, this place, whatever it is, or are you what you wanting something different? There's the world on this card, which represents a cycle closing. Um, for me as a channeler on this, for this card, that when it shows up, um, it feels like this is a big, it feels like it's a big decision that you're having to make. And I wish I could just have you behind my back so you can see these cards. Queen of Swords is looking over at the Six of Cups. She's analyzing. She's observing. She's looking what she's put into it. Remember we had the B at the very beginning? Reciprocity. Um, she's looking at it going, hmm, I don't know. I, I've just got this feeling that she's going, you know, I think I've done this long enough. Then we get the Two of Wands. And I'm going to try and get these cards so you can see it the way I'm seeing it. She's got her back towards the Six of Cups. But she is looking over at the Queen of Wands, which is your energy showing up. You see how she is looking over that? over towards the Queen of Wands. So there's some, and it doesn't matter if you're male or female because we all have ma masculine and feminine um, in us. So non-gender specific reading, Saji. <clears throat> I feel like you are wanting to be the Queen of Wands. Again, you want to get back into your power. You want to get back into alignment with you um, and where you feel free and you feel um, passionate and you don't feel burdened, burdened down, weighted down. Um, there's something feeling that you have been carrying a lot of someone else's load here and you have made a lot of sacrifices and I do feel that this is spirit's way of coming through to say you got to make a different choice here. Um, there's even a person standing at the very bottom of this card and they are creating the, um, the lightning in their hand. They're, they're casting it out like this. So there's some energy here spirit is wanting you to correct and um or at the very least they're guiding you to correct it they're guiding you to look at this we have the high priestess so now we've got um pisces card showing up this is about tapping into your intuition trusting that guidance system sag that you have inside of you um, knowing that you have all you need to make the choice to make the decision to follow the path that you're meant to be on if someone has been in your life it's number two by the way um, twos usually are about choices um, and you got the two of wands and now the two for the high priestess um, when someone in my experience you know sometimes it can take us a long time to really understand that um, there is a cycle that needs to be closed up because we have repeating patterns people that we meet we, we you know um, let's say you typically are you know you you're the giver you may have found that even in the last year, the last 10 years, maybe your whole lifetime, that there has been a cycle of that happening over and over and over again, where you give because you, you're giving from the bottom of your heart because you have that beautiful soul um, and you're very connected and you're sensitive to others. 
Um, and so you give, and then what happens is then they take, and then you give, and they keep taking, and they give, and they keep taking. And then maybe something happens where, you know, that you, you move away from that person, but next the next go, it's like someone else is there um, doing the same thing. What I'm saying to you is you would know if this is your reading, if you're resonating with that. If there's been a pattern that has constantly or perpetually has been, hmm, let me find the right words. Is there a cycle, a pattern that you are aware of, of others taking advantage of you? Um, and you can see it. You can see it very clearly where you sit today. I feel this is that reading of it's the time to make the choice, um, to get back your energy again, to get back into connection with you. You're meant to be here, Saggy, on this life for your own joy and for the beauty of your life. Not always just to give to others. It's a beautiful thing to give to others. Um, but it also has to be in balance, right? Remember that bee, the bees, they all work together for a common cause. Um, if the queen bee dies, well, they all have to go find another queen bee, right? But if, if you think about it, if they didn't have the worker bees, there would be no honey. Um, there would be nothing to feed the other bees. If there wasn't the warrior bees that are protecting the hive, well, wasps or something would come in. So there's that whole energy of coming together, like, like the three of... Um, Pentacles in the tar in the tarot three coming together to collaborate for a higher purpose here I don't feel like that's what's been happening here in some area of your life So we'll get in a little bit deeper, but the three of wands is saying that you are <clears throat> You are making moves you are kind of slowly starting to separate yourself from This person from this kind of cycle however, it may resonate such but it hasn't it hasn't been easy again I'm just saying the five of cups it hurts to be disappointed over and over, whether it's from people that are close to us or even people that are just random, random strangers even. It can still mm, sting a little bit. You know, have you ever been, um, I like to hold doors for people. Um, I will go out of my way to hold a door open for people. And I'm using this as just an example. Um, and when someone holds a door open for me, I'm very highly appreciative. It's like, thank you. You know, it's a common courtesy. Um, and so I will do that. And, and sometimes, you know, someone just doesn't even, they don't even acknowledge you. They just walk through the door and they're, you, they don't even acknowledge that you've held the door open. That's kind of insensitive. Now, hey, maybe they've got something going on in their life. But my point is, is that um, it's nice for kindness to be reciprocate, reciprocated. Okay, so spirit, let's go a little bit further. Okay, what is this? These ones, okay. Yeah. You're on whatever path this is that you are about to close out, this taking taking your power back and not really sacrificing so much is going to lead you to where you're meant to be, your wishes coming true, right? Nine of Cups. Um, getting back in alignment with your energy of Queen of Wands. Look at, we've got the Ace of Wands. We've got the Three of Cups, beautiful. And we got the Two of Cups. Oh, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So, Sag, this feels like this reading could apply to work. It can apply to your love. It can apply to any or all relationships that you've had. Because in some way, I feel you standing up and really acknowledging that there has been unfairness in some area of your life. And you really rising up to stand up and say, you know, I've observed a lot. I've seen how you have taken advantage of me. And I'm really not willing to keep giving anymore. Takes you to a place where it puts you right back into your strength, your power, that beautiful energy of you, um, where you probably are going to feel a hell of a lot lighter. And you're going to also feel really happy and excited for yourself because you released this cycle. I do feel it is some kind of a cycle here for you. For some of you, it is about friendships because we've got the three of cups. And for some of you, it is about partnerships, um, specifically love because two of cups is that beautiful energy of Two people coming together, creating magic, being in an alignment, loving one another, loyalty, um, equal give and take. The Three of Cups is that, again, it's three, and everyone knows, or, no, well, not everyone knows, but I, I love the number three. It is about our own power. Um, <coughs> oh, my goodness. So sorry. Excuse me. Um, but finding the people that are actually going to have your back as well, not just you having the others back. And the Ace of Wands, well, this is like that new beginning, the new start. It's a beautiful energy of the cycle, one cycle closing out and a new one beginning, but one where you are 
you're being valued and appreciated for all that you have and all that you are and all that you do, not where someone just looks at you as, you know, the never ending energy bottle that you'll just continue to pick up the slack. It's really what I'm feeling from this reading. And after the nine of cups, which is gorgeous, we do have the, the king of swords. So now we do have a pair here with the king and queen showing up in your reading. Um, this is a beautiful alignment. Now, spirit could be just giving this, it doesn't mean that you're married to this person or anything, but it could be, because it is a couple. But I feel like spirit's giving this to us to say, look at how these two match up, right? They are the king and queen of swords. They are the pair. So they give equally to one another. And I feel like that is an important message coming through here. And the only way that will happen is when you're standing up for yourself. Um, and I think in life, that's an important thing to do. You do it with grace. Um, it's not, you don't have to be negative or hurtful or any of that. It's just about being it with grace, but also understanding that you have a lot of worth. And if someone has taken advantage of you or 20 people have continued to take advantage of you or however this may work, God, you got to stop. You got to like say, no, you know, sir, no more, ma'am, no more, sir. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not taking this anymore. You know, um, I've given enough. And I've gotten very little in return. So now I'm going to give more to me. Um, we even have the magician. I love this. This is power. We have the magician underneath the king of swords. It's like you are now or have been and will be really using your magic and all that you have to really actually orchestrate the life that you're wanting and allowing um, who you want in your life and who you are not going to have in your life. The Emperor, next, Aries card. Aries is all about I am, right? Um, first house. So this is about, yeah, Four of Swords next. I don't know, Sag, I just feel like you're really taking your power back. That's what this reading feels like. Um, it's like you're really seeing clearly and you just have had enough. And that's, that's fair, you know? We can all only take so much. And at a certain point, there's got to be a, a moment where we stand up and we say, okay, I am taking my life back. I'm taking my energy back. I'm focusing on me because my life is worthwhile to live as well. And um, let me be back in control. That's something with this. That's what the emperor is, right? He rules his empire, but he does it fairly and just, but he also is the emperor. So he is possibly, he can... He can say who's going to be in his empire or not, right? It's a powerhouse energy. And we have the four of swords underneath that. So that is just exact. And then we have this, the star. This is that energy of exactly resting, recuperating. But you've had to kind of disconnect from your emotions because you've been taken advantage of. And even the Aquarius card star showing up underneath is the energy of like moving forward, healing, right? Releasing and wishes coming true, which is the nine of cups. So Sag, this is a pretty wonderful reading, I feel. Um, <clears throat> it's just like you really coming back into you, if this is your reading. It might not be for everyone, right? Um, but it just feels like there's something you are witnessing, coming into awareness of on Thursday or around then, or whenever you are called to this reading. And you're seeing the truth, because the queen and the king and swords they are about the truth, right? They hold the sword of truth. And the sword is sharp and it can cut. The truth is important to be seen and to be expressed and acknowledged here. Very interesting raid. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just see if there's anything that wants to come into my crystal deck for you. What do we have on the bottom? We have the Knight of Wands. I love that being on the bottom because it says, I make decisions without pressure. And what I like about the Knight of Wands, again, your energy, Sag, is that this is the energy where you start kind of doing life for you, not doing life for what everyone else expects you to do, right? Because um, that's a really unfair burden to put on others. Hey, I want you to do all of this for me. And meanwhile, I'm going to give you nothing back. No way, man. We all only have this one life. It's important to do things that you bring you joy as well. Um, and so it says, I am making it, I make this decision without pressure. 
you're deciding to go in the direction that feels really good for you and that is in alignment with you. Let's see if Spirit has anything else, Sag, for you. Show me clearly, please. Is there anything else, Spirit? <laughs> okay, the Hierophant. Wow. Got the Five of Pentacles on the bottom. I'm running out of room on my, my table with all my beautiful decks. Five of Pentacles. Um, yeah, I am holding back energy, money, time, love, whatever it is, from those that are not worthy of it. Not everyone is worthy of it. And, you know, I'm just going to bring this up for because I just had this, I had a comment um, over the last week or whatever. And everyone has a right to do whatever they want, right? I'm a tarot reader. I'm a channeler. I have my own beliefs, just like you have your own beliefs. Um, and nothing is set in stone with tarot, and we all have free will. I'm not saying ice someone out that is not deserving of it. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, the comment was something about, like, you know, even if people are really kind of bad towards you, um, you still shouldn't give up on them, and you should just keep giving, 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 and there's a lot of speak talk about religion, right? Um, and hey, each to their own. But for me, I'm like, okay, well, that's if that works for you, that's wonderful. That doesn't work for me. Um, I will give to people. I have a big heart. I'm very loving. Um, and I am very loyal as well. I will give and give and give. But when at a certain point I get to a place where it's like, man, all you're doing is taking, 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 taking. It comes a point where I'm like, I can't do that anymore. I can't keep giving because I'm just freaking exhausted and, and drained at the end of it. And I feel like that's the message that's coming through here for those of you that are resonating with this reading. So the Five of Pentacles is about saying, okay, I, I'm not... I am not going to keep investing um, myself, my self-worth, into something or anyone that is really just all about the taking, you know, just the taker. Okay, so back to the cards that came out. We have the Hierophant. This is Taurus's card. This is I am ready to love and learn. Now, we all know the Hierophant is about higher learning, higher wisdom, right? He's very, very intelligent. He's very in tune. He's learned a lot. Could be representing a marriage here. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles and we have the Four of Pentacles. Um, Eight of Pentacles, this is a work in progress, Sag. It's not like you can just shut the door instantly or one day you're giving everyone everything and the next day you're like, no, everyone stay away. It doesn't really work quite that way. So the Eight of Pentacles is reminding you, like, dedicate your energy into what you believe, what you feel, and allow it to slowly change for you. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. So again, Four of Pentacles... Five of Pentacles is that feeling of like not, um, it's that lack, like, oh my gosh, I've given so much and I'm not getting anything back. Now the Four of Pentacles is like, I am protecting myself, you know, I'm protecting myself and what means a lot to me. Um, and that's just the way it's going to be. I will give 100% to those that give me 100%. If you only give me 40%, I'm going to give you 40%. If you give me 0%, then I'm going to give you 0%. Kind of the way it is meant to be, I feel. So this is um, the reading we have for you. Um, yeah. Feels like big changes for those Sagittariuses that are resonating with this reading. And I think you should be really proud of yourself, standing up for yourself, and holding yourself in honor because you matter and you are worth it. And, you know... No one should be able to take advantage of you over and over and over again. Um, no, there's like lessons to be learned here for the people as well. <laughs> I hope this is making sense. Okay, Saggy, I feel like that's where I'm going to leave it for Thursday. Um, let me know if this uh, applies to you, if this is resonating with you. No, I just want you to be very happy. I want you to receive what you put out there. You deserve it. You have made a lot of sacrifices in your lifetime for the goodness of others, for the for the welfare of others. And this isn't a hate reading because I I'm not I'm all about love here. This is just about you loving yourself a little bit more and being kinder to yourself, which means if there's a user around you, just don't allow them to take from you anymore, you know? Those that are giving to you, sure, keep the balance going. So Sag, okay, I will pull a treasure from Takashi. I wasn't going to, and then I heard them guide me. So thank you, Spirit. We have purpose on the bottom. Hmm. I'll read it, and then I'm going to pull. It says, feel a sense of purpose in everything you do. Know that you can learn your lessons and move on. Understand that everything has a purpose. You can learn from the past, but do not dwell upon it. Move forward with purpose, even when the direction is unclear. 
There is a higher purpose to everything. Beautiful. Okay. Is there one final card you have for Sagittarius for this reading for Thursday? Sag, you standing up for yourself is going to attract all the good things towards you. I feel like that's what Spirit is saying with the Nine of Cups. It's like, make the decision for yourself. Um, and if you are doing good for you and doing well for you, uh, everything will, will work out and balance out. And that is just the way it is. Think of the Justice card, right? Um, kind of surprised that didn't come out, actually. The Justice card. When scales are out of balance, they need to be rebalanced. Show me clearly. Please, Spirit, one card for Sagittarius for Thursday. Okay. Communication. Woo. Kind of what we were just saying. And then we have delight, so that's beautiful. Okay. Communication. It says, what are you saying or not saying? Are your communications clear? Not all communications are verbal. See, the king and the queen of swords, that is all about communication or logic. Now is the time to communicate your thoughts and feelings. Speak your mind clearly so as not to be misunderstood. <coughs> Excuse me. Be inspired as you communicate on all levels with yourself and other energy beings. This is, how, this is it. This is what I'm feeling. It is time for you to speak up, stand up, uh, own your truth. And that's it. It's not about anything negative. It is about you. You deserve that. And um, when you speak up and you express your feelings, then the puzzle is solved. People will know where you stand, right? And then on the bottom, we have delight. It says, enchantment occurs when you least expect it. Open yourself to the charm of the world and tingle with delight. Have no expectations and life is captivatingly beautiful. Look in the mirror and give yourself the gift of delight as you see who you truly are. Sag, beautiful energy. Yeah, I'm, I'm obviously, I'm reading for you, so I feel protective of you. I know what a lot of you have gone through, and I feel it is time for you to rise and shine and no more um, giving your light. I was going to say dimming your light. No more giving your light to those who are not willing to give back, okay? So that is your reading for Thursday. Um, I love it. I feel it's very empowering. I hope you enjoyed it as well, Saji. Thank you again for all of the support. I love you so much, and I love this, this relationship that we have here. So I hope this helped you. Um, I will do a reading for you for Friday. I hope you come back. Again, I love you. Thank you. Mm, I appreciate you, Sag. Have a wonderful day on Thursday and know that you are truly, truly, truly loved. Take care.